keeping a critical resource available when clients are supposed to stay home. Here's Channel 5's Mari Solvadia. Businesses and organizations of all sorts have needed to make necessary changes to keep employees and clients safe. But for some, those changes puts the everyday norm of potentially saving lives at risk. Plasma is used as a starting material to make life-saving medicines. These medicines treat rare and chronic conditions, such as primary immune deficiencies. This is a condition where someone's immune system doesn't properly work. Lasta Hakes is the director of corporate affairs for Griffles a pharmaceutical company that works with plasma donations and clinical testing laboratories to create blood plasma-based products. Plasma donations are especially important for patients with immunodeficiency disorders. That means their bodies cannot fight infections and diseases, and any decrease in plasma donations means they won't be able to have access to their everyday medicine, which heavily depends on plasma alone. So we ask that people choose. Um, they can either go donate blood or they can choose plasma to do one of those and help somebody. In both cases, whether you're donating blood or plasma, you're helping save lives. More important now, as it was three months ago, as it's gonna be six months from now. And as police across the valley crack down on limiting people from traveling that don't need to, Hakes wants to reassure valley goers that they have the right to travel to a plasma center. Donors are essential. They are considered to be part of the critical infrastructure for healthcare. Plasma centers working in part with Griffles are checking both employee and client's temperatures, practicing social distancing, and allowing those who are healthy to donate. For more information on how you can donate and what the requirements are, you can head over to grifflesplasma.com and find the donation center closest to you. In McAllen, Marisol Villarreal, Channel 5 News at 6. And we will have a link to a travel permit for plasma donors available on our website, krgv.com, right after the newscast.